Hello, everybody. Anybody? Hello again. It's Tom, and I'm back with another video about pedals. Uh, today, uh, we're going to see what happens when I blend uh, <laughs> some fun things. I'm here today with the single cross pedal, a crossover pedal that I make, uh, the TC Hypergravity Compressor, which, of course, I don't make, and the classic first act distortion pedal, dun, 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 which uh, I also don't make. I don't even know if they still make them. And they'll be blended using an LS2 as a mixer because you can pretty much use anything as a mixer, including a couple of resistors. So, just to get things started here. Uh, yes, I will be assisted by the lovely Fender Dimension Bass with uh, slowly going dead flat wounds and uh, does have a selection of very nice pickup combinations for uh, experimenting with distortions though so that's gonna be the thing so okay so I have the treble going through the distortion and the bass going through the hypergravity as found on a certain very expensive bass pedal uh, which seems to be largely made of plastic uh, when I was playing with it but in any case uh, and it's all pickups on and then uh, I also like the, the thinner tone you get with the single coils uh, together but the first thing I notice is that the distortion seems to be an inverting pedal so by itself I would say it probably doesn't produce much signal output below about 150 hertz in other words it doesn't make any bass next if I turn off the bass frequencies much a treble machine. Kinda nasty and harsh. In a good way, I think, sometimes. Let's put some bass with it. So with it by itself. Pretty good. All right, so I, I think the hypergravity is also an inverting pedal. And uh, by itself, it's uh, really tuned for guitar. So the first thing I'd say is if you're going to buy it, plan on loading tone prints, because like the, the vintage setting has the that uh, pedal compressor bloom thing going. All bell tones all the time. Um, and that's what you get from those built-in tones, and I tweaked it. You just, that's what you're going to get. But um, uh, I don't even know whose tone print is in here, but it's it's okay. Still very much a guitar um, compressor, but crossed over. It does seem like a pick setup, doesn't it? Single coils. Hard to get too much sustain out of the flats, even uh, when they're fresh. And with this setup, I'm gonna have to just say right off the bat, I need too much pop out of the compressor, even with the attacks that do it for longest. to do something like this if you're a bass player is because you actually want the, the bass to sustain with the distortion which means you're probably using a pretty heavy distortion tone it's going to sustain for a long time a lot heavier than this 
which is kind of weird to me because uh, if you're going to do that, why wouldn't you just put the compression before the distortion and then cross over blend the distortion with the compressed full fat signal? But it might be that what you want is the distortion to actually retain that finger feel. And you want the bass to sustain. Thusly. No. This song sucks. really sucks. Wow, this is just like, I feel like I'm in high school suddenly writing bad songs with my friends. Did I have friends in high school? Eh. Oh, I thought I did. reverse it. <laughs> hey, I can do this. I can run the highs through the compressor and the lows through the distortion and make it sound really different. Okay, so that's it. That's a different distortion tone. I think I'm not really in love with either of these pedals. Don't tell anybody. Um, I'm just gonna move on now and try the same experiment with some pedals I like a little better. Bye. <laughs>